Ooh, what's up, y'all, and welcome to NXT. I hope y'all caught that Brooklyn takeover because it was amazing. I mean, like every NXT show. But right now, Donnie Nitro puts his title on the line against Cassius. Oh, no. In his first title defense after winning the NXT North American Championship and also joining the Undisputed. That team right there is stacked. And look at Cassius, oh no, trolling Donnie Nitro coming out with the Undisputed colorway. Like he just joined Undisputed. And I have my sources say that he did not. But for some reason, he's just being funny. But good to cash his own note, because you know what? He needs television time. He just became like a jobber over time. Hopefully, he can prove himself tonight against Donnie Nitro, who I personally don't think he's a great wrestler. Uh, I feel like the reason why he won was because of Velvet, uh, because of Adam, Adam Nicole. Adam Cole interrupting that match and distracting Velveteen and Donnie picking up the win. Good. Could prove me wrong a little tonight by coming up with the victory. Donnie Nitro is who I'm talking about. And here he comes with the undisputed era. Who we? Who would have thought that we would have seen this? Donnie Nitro coming into NXT to ultimately join the Undisputed Era. Adam Cole gracefully just letting him lending his hand out to Donnie Nitro. Seeing that he is Undisputed. And he, feel, he sees a potential superstar in Donnie Nitro. So why not pick up somebody you feel can lead this company one day? Donnie Nitro with that new NXT North American Championship. And it's looking nice around his waist. But can he prove tonight that he deserves that title? Because he could lose it to Cassius. Cassius is a little bit more experienced than Donnie Nitro. So it's a possibility that Donnie could lose that title within a, within a couple days of even having it. Be the first person to win the title and then lose it a couple days later. And let's see what Cassius, oh no, can do. And this is why we're here, y'all, for that North American Championship. It's beautiful. I'm going to get one in my room one day. And here we go. Cash is going for the kick. Immediately starting out this, this bout. And Donnie slamming Cash is trying to get the upper hand. He has a little assistance on the side. As long as they don't interfere, it's just a normal one-on-one -on -one match. So any interference from Undisputed could get a DQ for Nitro. You know, Donnie's still looking like himself going against Velveteen. Now, don't get me wrong, now the Velveteen and Donnie, ooh, almost hitting him with that clothesline. Now don't get me wrong, Donnie and Velveteen had a great match. But I really think Velveteen was the better wrestler in that match. But you know, I could be wrong, and Donnie could have actually outplayed Velveteen, but I can't help but think that that Adam Cole interference had something to do with it. Oh, what is this? Donnie clotheslining the ref. Oh, no. Oh no, what is he doing? Oh, Donnie. 
trying to whack Cassius with the uh, with the bat, but it's not working. Missing another flying clothesline. But once again, Donnie, you really need to stop. You're going to hurt yourself. And now Donnie, DDT outside of the ring. Undisputed just sitting there. Donnie picks up the bat. Now this, he can't get DQ'd for this. Not sure exactly what Donnie has up his sleeve. Ooh, tried to swing the bat while the ref had his back turned and he hits the ref again. But this time on accident. Uh-oh. Now with that bat sitting in the ring, Okay, the ref is getting to his feet. Ooh, you have to watch out for Donnie. Donnie's a very sneaky dude. He always has some sneaky plan up his sleeve. And look at this. Cash is not letting Donnie get the upper hand right now. And now Cash is getting the, oh. Oh, knee to the stomach. The ref trying to take the bat out, but no. Donnie close lines the ref, picks up the bat. There's no ref to stop him, and oh, gets whacked in the head by the bat. Cassius gets up immediately. I'm pretty sure he's a little dazed. Cassius throws the, ooh. Wait, what are we setting up here? <laughs> 619? No, oh, oh, gosh. This Donnie's throw has to hurt on that one. But look at this. Cash is back into the ring. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Donnie's back hits the bat. Look like Cash is going for another one. No, misses. And I'm pretty sure he lands on that bat, too. Ooh, wait. Can Donnie capitalize on this opportunity? Donnie throws him back into the ring. Uh-oh. What is this? It's the jackhammer. Jackhammer from Donnie Nitro. Is it over? One, two, three. Donnie Nitro retains the NXT North American Championship. Wow. And I thought Donnie probably couldn't pull it off just based off how reckless he was acting. And wait. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, Donnie, it's over. You don't have nothing else to prove. Just brutally attacking Cassius Ono after the match. And Donnie just staring down Cassius Ono, trying to prove that he is the new champion and he's running NXT. And let's get to our next match. We have Jordan Reese coming out to the ring. And if you saw that NXT Brooklyn takeover match <laughs> where Jordan Reese and Shayna Baszler went in, in a steel cage match, pin, submission, or first one out. And Shayna really pulled out that one. I think Jordan's intentions was to brutalize her. But I think if Jordan would have paid attention to what she was there for, she would have easily been the NXT Women's Championship. And here comes Kelly Marie. This was the first match that Jordan Reese had when she came into the NXT. Um, when she came into NXT, that's it. I don't know what else I was going to say on that one. <laughs> but she came into NXT. And once again, can Kelly Marie prove that she belongs here? That she can withstand the tough talent in NXT? She held her own for that NXT Women's Championship. But can she do it one-on-one -on -one against Jordan Reese? Last time, it didn't end well. And look at this, Jordan already starting out with the punches. I don't think Kelly was ready for that. And oh, oh, ooh, Kelly trying to swing on Jordan. 
but not letting it happen. Jordan with that knockout punch. And uh-oh, here we go. Can this be a repeat of last time? Is it over? One, two, three. Jordan Reese wins again. Was that a record? I don't even remember the last time. What else? What, what was her thing last time? She knocked her out pretty. F oh, ho, ho. Bianca is out here attacking Jordan. Oh my gosh, where did she come from? And I'm pretty sure it's because she feels like she should have been in that NXT Women's Championship. Bianca Belair came out and attacked Jordan Reese and Kelly Marie making a statement. Wow. I don't, I don't know what else to say, y'all. But if, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next.